Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Every link that I'm about to show right now is going to be linked down in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first page you're going to want to pull up is the fabric one. It'll be the first of the three links. Uh, you're going to want to press download installer or jar down here. It'll say, do you want to keep or discard? Just press keep and it'll download like that. Next up, we have Fabric API, and you're probably just gonna wanna download the latest version of this. Don't download the snapshot version, downloaded the 1.16.1 version. Go ahead and press download. This is pretty much required for uh, most of the mods, it seems, so I just go ahead and download. This is a preca precautionary action. Once again, go ahead and press keep. And lastly, this one is actually optional, but this one is kind of nice if you want to see what mods you have installed, which mods are working and whatnot. Uh, this is the mod menu. Go ahead and just press install like we did before on the API. It'll take a little while before it starts downloading. Once it does, it'll pop up here, keep or discard. Go ahead and press keep once again, and then go ahead and go to your downloads folder, and I will see you there. Okay, so one of the first things that you're going to want to actually do is open up the Minecraft launcher and run 1.16.1 if you haven't already. It's good to just do this just in case there have been any updates that you need to install. Uh, so just go ahead and go over here, latest release, go ahead and press play. If it needs to download anything, it will download stuff. This way you just ensure that everything's downloaded and then we can get right into the mods. So there we go. Now we loaded up 1.16.1. You can go ahead and X right on out of that. Down here in the little search bar, you're going to want to type in run really quickly and pop up this uh, in this little box down here. You're going to want to type in percentage app data percentage. Uh, go ahead and press OK and it'll pull up this thing. You go ahead and click on the dot Minecraft folder. Now within here, we can go to versions and click on this. As you can see, I have I have a lot of versions installed, uh, but we're going to go ahead and pull this down real quickly and look for the fabric, a uh, fabric installer. Uh, so we're just going to click on this and it should pop up. So we just double click on fabric installer and it pops up with this. Make sure that you have 1.16.1 selected. Just go ahead and press install and then it says done. Fabric has been successfully installed. Go ahead and press OK. Go ahead and X out of that. And then we can also look down in here and make sure that it installed. Uh, here it is right here. Fabric loader. There we go. Go ahead and X back out of this and go ahead and relog Minecraft. So now when you load up the Minecraft launcher, you should see fabric loader instead. Go ahead and press play. Let this run through and download stuff. And then we'll get into adding the mods. And here we go. As you can see, this time when we load it up, it now says 1.16.1 and then also slash fabric modded. Uh, this way, you know that it has worked. And then you can go ahead and press quit game once again. Uh, and now we have these two little things here. Go back down here to run. Go ahead and type in percentage app data percentage again. Go ahead and press OK. Back to your dot Minecraft folder real quick. This time we're going to want to locate the mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you can just go ahead and right click inside of here. Press new. Go to folder and then title it mods. Make sure it's all lowercase mods. Nothing else. And then go ahead and click on this. We can go ahead and plunk these down in here. As you can see, I did not really prepare very well. He still had this in here. But then you go ahead and have these in here. Go ahead and X back out of that. And we can go ahead and load Minecraft back up once again. This time, load it up again with the Fabric Loader 1.16.1. And you should have the mods installed. We're going to double check, though, once we get there. So now, as you can see, we can load this back up. And because we have the mods list installed, we have this new option here. And you can see it says Mods Loaded 1. Uh, we can go in here and check that out. So everything seems to be working just fine. And there you go. That's my short, sweet, and simple tutorial on how to download and install Fabric 1.16.1 for Minecraft. Be sure to leave a like on this video if it did help you out. And if you guys want more Minecraft content in your life, feel free to hit that subscribe button button. It means the world to me. We're pretty close to 900 subscribers at this point. Anyways, hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay awesome, guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.